up what's up my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel this is washuka here and today i have something exciting as you can see i want to show you my kitchen garden that is doing very well this is maize this is maize that was planted recently and it is doing quite well then i have sukumas a small portion yeah here they are these days I don't go to the market to buy sukumas, although these are kidogo, but uh, it is something. Yeah, I have more maize here. Yeah, hey, it's doing well eh? and it's quite high. It's almost to produce. So my kitchen garden is doing very well. And inside there I have kunde. Yeah, this is kunde here. It's very nice for, it's a very nice vegetable for eating with ugari, with chapati, with rice, with anything. Very good for vitamins. It has a lot of vitamins, the kunde. Yeah, and inside there I have even managu. It's a mixture of everything because my kitchen garden is very, not very big. So I had to make use of the space. So that is... Uh, this is doing quite well, eh? Yeah, and I have even more there. It is the same sukuma. Yeah, I have more. Even here, I have um, the rokos or cowpeas in English. I hope I'm right. <laughs> so these are the rokos. This one you, you can you cook them like uh, like peas or beans. They are very nutritious. So inside there also more managu. So this uh, traditional vegetables they are very good like managu, terere. They are very full of vitamins, so it's very good to to eat them. If you don't have them in the shamba, you can buy. Yeah, you will save yourself from many doctors. Look at my maize, quite high, and it's doing very well. So if you have a space in your compound, a very small space, you can do some, you can do a kitchen garden. And then you don't need to be going all the time to buy things, to buy food in the, in the market. And you grow very nutritious things, natural, yeah. I have more sukumas here. These ones, they are very young, but they are doing very well. You can see how I put manure. This is grass. Grass, when we cut in the compound, you don't just throw. It can be very good manure, this one. Then you put around your vegetables, and it produces very nice compost manure, all this. Then here I have uh, spring onions. Have you ever see, seen spring onions growing? Here they are. They are looking wonderful with a lot of manure. In fact, this is kind of ash we are sprayed there, you are put there. It's very good, it gives very nice uh, nutrients for the plants. Yeah, and then here I have a uh, pumpkin. Wow, it's doing very well. It's becoming very wild. That is my pumpkin. This pumpkin leaves also they are very good for for cooking. You know, just cooking them like uh, like uh, spinaches or sukumas, you can mix with other vegetables, and they are very nutritious. So, so when, especially when they are young like this. And then here we are going to have several pumpkins. Hey, then there is a pumpkin here already, almost ready. Look, 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 so cute. Oh, there's another one here, almost ready. Yeah, and these flowers, this, this, I mean, from this flower, you'll get a pumpkin. From this flower here, you'll get a pumpkin from that. Like that one, if you have never seen a pumpkin growing. So, wow, I like. Hey, there are even more. Let me show you. My all my pumpkins. 
There is one here. Who is it? I had seen it somewhere. It is hiding. Ah, there. Let me come across here and show you this one. Over there. Doing very well. So there are many. So here, you are going to harvest a lot of pumpkins. And then bananas in the middle of the pumpkin. Also doing very well. That's a banana tree. So if you have space in your compound, don't waste it. Just make use of it. Plant vegetables especially because they grow very fast. And then what else? I have uh, there is dania here. No, this is not dania. This is parsley. This is also parsley for cooking, for garnishing food. This one, this is parsley. This is also parsley. Yeah, yeah. Then there are herbs. Let me show you the herbs. So this is a section for herbs. And they are doing very, very well. Yeah, all these, uh, even those ones with the flowers, they are herbs. There is even strawberries. Let me show you the strawberries closer. Have you ever seen strawberries growing? There they are. Yeah, looking good. And then there is a mango. This is a mango tree. It's a small mango tree, but it has produced twice, so it is still young. In the same kitchen garden, I have uh, plants that are producing very beautiful flowers, like these ones. These ones, I can't remember the name. So when you want to decorate the, your sitting room, your house at the entrance, you can do a very nice arrangement with such flowers. You just cut and arrange in a flower vase. So, and this is also, this is hibiscus. This is another kind of, it's a kind of hibiscus. Yellow hibiscus is very beautiful. Yeah, I'll show you a red one, but that, that is the one that is closer. So you cut them, then you arrange in a flower vase, and then you decorate their house. So you don't have to be always buying, because these uh, flowers, they are very expensive. So you can spare yourself that, that shading. Banana, this is another nice banana doing very well. This one, this is a sweet banana. We are about to harvest. Also, it's in the same small kitchen garden. How about that? Very interesting. And then here there is something else called aloe vera. Sure, you, ha you have heard a lot about aloe vera. It makes very many products. So this one, you can use it even for doing many things, for cleansing your face. Yeah. You can use it for wounds. When you have a cut, a wound, you can use it to cure the wound, to dry the wound, the, the wound, kidoda, and then it cures faster. Then there are guavas. I have to show you a tree, a guava tree. Here it is. And it, we have eaten a lot of guavas from this small tree. Yeah, so these are, these are guava. They look like this. It's a very nice nutritious fruit. Yeah, over there. Yeah, and in fact, when you eat a guava, you don't remove. You eat with everything. Don't peel. So the all the nutrients are usually in the in the peel. So you just eat like that. So when they are ready, they are yellow. They are not green. So these ones they are missing. Yeah. Then what else? I have many plants here. Then there is an avocado tree here, still very young, and it is doing very well. It's, this one is few months, and it's doing quite well. So in the same like small kitchen garden, you can plant very many things. You don't need to be buying all the time. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have been here watching my videos, Asante Sana, thank you very much. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Thank you very much. Bye.